it's been a long while since I uploaded a project video. Here's what I think is an interesting project where I made a Morse code practice oscillator from an Arduino compatible microcontroller, a stereo jack, and a three pin buzzer. The micro I used is a Teensy 4.1, but any microcontroller with enough memory for code space and data should be fine. The buzzer I used is a generic three pin active buzzer with power, ground, and a so-called I.O. pin, since the buzzer I'm using is active low to substitute a three pin passive buzzer, which is probably active high, you'd have to remove the line where I pull the I.O. pin high after using Arduino tone to get the desired pitch. The code implements an iambic A code practice oscillator, so you'd need a Morse code paddle to use it. The reason I chose to use a paddle instead of a straight key is it makes it very simple for the code to print out the character it receives from the paddle. Decoding the Morse is very simple since the code knows very well the sequence and timings of the dots and dashes it played out. Decoding for a straight key would be a bit harder. Upon startup, the code is in letter and word practice mode where you can key letters to practice sending. You'll hear the Morse beeps and see the decoded characters in the console output. The code enforces the standard Morse timings to determine the ends of letters and ends of words. An extra feature is a word copy practice mode. If you send seven dots in a row, the code goes into a mode where it will send a random word from the list of 100 most common English words. By just using your ears, you can practice copying the word, or you can look at the console to see what the word is to learn the sound of the word. Then it's your turn to send the same word back to the code. If you key it correctly, the code will send back an R to you, and then send a new word. If you get it wrong, the code will resend the original word and give you another chance to send it back. Sending seven dashes in a row puts you back into the original character sending mode. I put the code up on GitHub in a public repository. I'll put the link in the description, and if you'd like to use GitHub's interface to post issues, we can further develop the code. For one thing, I'm not so good at using a paddle, so hopefully someone more skilled can make the project and try it out so we can work on getting any little bugs out. Also, if there is interest, we can work on supporting straight keys. Well, that's it for now. Please like and subscribe if you found this interesting.